The race to become the next leader of the Conservative Party of Canada will come to an end on September the 10th when Conservative members will gather at the Shaw Centre in Ottawa to elect a new party leader. Pierre Polyev, Jean Charest, Roman Baber, Scott Aitchison and Leslin Lewis have been fighting ever since February and ever since the Conservative caucus voted to remove Aaron O'Toole as leader through the Reform Act. Jean Charest is one of those candidates who is running for leader of the Conservative Party of Canada and he joins me now. Mr. Charest, thanks so much for coming back on the program. Let's just start out with something that Pierre Polyev, your uh, primary opponent, you could say, in this campaign, um, he's, you know, again, your main opponent in this race, um, has been kind of accusing you of ever since this race really began. He says um, you were a liberal in Quebec, et cetera. So, I mean, how do you plan to, if you are elected as leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, um, unite the Conservative Party amidst, you know, things like what Mr. Polyev is currently saying? Well, let's pause a second, Wyatt, to uh, to think about that. Uh, Mr. Poliev, uh, you know, is uh, accusing me, I guess, of not meeting some sort of purity test that he, as the, I guess, the grand master of all of this, would decide. He would decide whether you are conservative or I am or someone else, and then uh, and whether you are worthy of being part of the conservative club, <clears throat> I, which I think in itself is offensive. The other part of it, Wyatt, when you think of it, is he's saying to all those who may have voted liberal in the past and who would be tempted to vote conservative, that they're not welcome. That, you know, this is a closed private club of supposed, uh, you know, Podiev conservatives, according to him. The irony of that, Wyatt, is that as he runs in a leadership race, he never, ever, ever mentions the word conservative. Look at all his you know, communications, never uses the word conservative. And then he makes this uh, this <laughs> laughable, actually, uh, accusation that I would be some sort of a liberal taking people, you know, thinking that people are stupid because in Quebec there is no conservative party when I go over. I led a coalition of federalists and successfully pushed up against a referendum. And by the way, Wyatt, when I when I was asked to go to Quebec to lead this coalition, people like Preston Manning and Stephen Harper were encouraging me to go. So what do you think of someone who wants to be leader of the Conservative Party and behaves that way and tells people that? I don't I don't think it's a good sign. I don't think it's a good sign for the party. Now, I am and I've always been a conservative. I believe in conservative values, which include fiscal conservatism, market-based economy, economic policies that promote growth, including resources, and that's oil and gas and pipelines and, and mining and forestry. I believe in families, all types of families. I believe in, I believe in the rule of law, what we call law and order, as a cornerstone to the freedoms in our society, truly a conservative value. And I also believe in a form of federalism that respects the jurisdictions of the provinces. That is the conservative I am. And I want to make a point. When I'm leader, all those who feel they're conservatives will be welcome in my party. And we're going to have a a party that will be inclusive. That will include, for example, people like who are social conservatives and who have felt demonized over the last few years and who I see as individuals who have a faith-based life, believe in their families, believe in their communities, and are very good people. So trust me, when I'm, when I'm the leader of this party, it'll be a party where you will be welcome, and all those who want to support us will be welcome. I want to pick up on that last piece that you just mentioned, talking about anyone will be welcome in the Conservative Party. Many people criticize, not necessarily criticize, but um, blame Darren O'Toole for trying to create too big of kind of a big tent party and ultimately blame that for being the reason that he was ultimately ousted by the Conservative Party. So how can you do that, but in, I guess, a more successful way? Well, I I don't want to comment on what Aaron O'Toole did. And uh, but Aaron O'Toole was not successful in winning the mass election campaign. Uh, Andrew Scheer was failed in 19. Uh, Stephen Harper failed in 15. This is three consecutive elections we've lost. One of the key questions for those who are going to be voting is who can win? Have we had enough of losing? Do we, do we want to continue to lose? 
And all the polling that has been done to this day, why it is pretty consistent. It says that if I'm the leader, we will win and form a national majority conservative government. If Pierre Poitier leads, we will lose and remain in opposition. The Angus Reid poll that was put out a few weeks ago says that in black and white. In Ontario, I would beat the Liberals. In Ontario, the Liberals beat Pierre Poitier. And, and, and that's where we need to win that in other parts of the country. So there lies the, the question that people, I think will have in mind when they're going to be choosing who they want to support as the next leader and fill in that ballot and put me as first choice because they want to have a leader who will deliver a national majority conservative government. And I mean, whether or not you win this leadership race, if you don't win this leadership race, how will you, I guess, continue to show support for the party that obviously you support and that you love, you know, you're running for this party um, as a leadership candidate? And would you, I guess, commit to running as a member of parliament, um, depending on, again, if you don't win this leadership race? Wyatt, I stayed on to lead this party and rebuild it when, after uh, the worst election defeat in history, there are only two members of parliament left. I was the only one reelected out of 169 members of parliament, the only one. And I stayed on to rebuild the party. I don't think I have to, you know, prove my attachment or my, my commitment to the party. I will always be a conservative. That will never change. And I'll always, uh, my commitment to conservatism has been un, unyielding. It has been, uh, you know, always there uh, through thick and thin in all circumstances because I show up. And, and I'm going to win this leadership race and I'm going to lead the party. And I will remain a member of the Conservative Party of Canada. Okay, Conservative Leadership Candidate Jean Charest. Jean Charest, thanks so much for your time as always and for making the time to join me today. Thank you, Wyatt.